So I'm gonna do another little update on the CR12 Team Associated Tioga. Um, I've got a couple little things that I've done to it and a couple more things that I plan on doing to it. And uh, there's a couple things that I seem to be doing differently than what I'm seeing on YouTube. And hopefully this helps somebody else that might be looking to uh, do stuff like this on their 12 scale. Um, uh, one of the things that might stand out right off the bat is I do have this all cut apart and redone with with the strut keys in the back and it's not done up here in the front. Now with the Tioga it has a hinge in the back and it only has the two body posts up front with this body. Therefore I didn't need the body posts up here so I cut them off and it's not all that elegant but it you know it's certainly functional and two screws holding the keys on seems to be working fine. Um, there are a couple other mods I'll touch on in a moment here, uh, but I wanted to just show, kind of for myself, but also for YouTube, um, what the reason behind me making this change is. Now, I, I, anybody that knows what the regular suspension on a CR12 Tioga looks like, this is not stock Tioga suspension. This is 90, these are 90 millimeter struts from the Traxxas TRX4. Uh, we had some. Uh, a spare parts bin here at my friend's shop and uh, these were available and so they're on and we've removed the springs and uh, we have some really great travel and they look awesome I'm going to clean them up before we take it out next um, but as you can see the struts stand out a little bit whereas compared to the rears I would like them to either be straight up and down or tucked in if I can a little bit. So you can see I've got the keys mounted on the inside of those mounts. Out here, I don't have any option but to mount everything on the outside. So rather than changing the uh, length of the spacer um, and cutting that down, uh, I want to mount the key on the inside, remove those uh, body mount posts, and then I'll just put some Velcro down here to hold the, um, to the body down uh, on the step sides and uh, just put a little piece of angle trim or something across the bottom here probably with two-sided tape just keep it simple um, now this is also not the stock servo i found the stock servo was insufficient especially with the servo saver uh, which is a common um, grievance uh, with this unit is that the servo saver takes a lot of the fun out of it especially when you get into some stuff when you're crawling with some of the bigger guys uh bigger trucks and you want to go uh, out into some of the bigger terrain you definitely get the steering pinched in a lot of different scenarios uh, and so this servo is out of a gen 7 red cat um, and it is a huge huge upgrade uh, steering servo is definitely something you want to do uh, also in the steering i moved see if you can see it here i moved the uh the shaft in one notch there I found that the tires were a little bit towed out for my liking and it made it just a little bit twitchy when we're commuting down the trail uh, to and from spots um, in regular crawling I didn't find that it made a difference um, drawing a blank as to any other changes I've made so far uh, I did drop the front body post down just a touch to get the the body line truer with the steps uh, and tuck the the front grille into the bumper just a little bit more um, I think the lines on it uh, are a lot cleaner like that and I also put a little piece of trim on there that we had laying around that actually fit. Um, I've got tires and wheels on the way for it, uh, some 95mm by 36mm uh, crawler tires and I'm looking into a couple linkages for up here and uh, should have a new servo horn on there uh, in the next uh, couple days here. Uh, otherwise, looking at battery upgrades, the 3S is definitely a cool option. It's nice that this um, X, uh, which one is this? The SC400 um, speed controller is capable to do that. Um, I'm really, really happy with this little unit and uh, excited to do a full proper uh, video with the uh, uh, Kootenai crawlers and uh, we're doing a crawl tomorrow, so hopefully we get some good footage out of that, and you guys have a lot more to see this thing actually in action here pretty soon. Thanks for checking this out. Bye for now.